So, Miss Swin is dead. What shall we do? Someone must investigate one of our detectives. Yes, but which one? For me, Hercule Poirot is more cunning than Sherlock Holmes. Yes, but Holmes is better and more famous. Being famous doesn't matter, but the logic does. On top of that, Holmes has already solved the murder of a friend of Stella Portman's. I have an idea. Both of them should investigate. Holmes and Poirot. With Watson, of course. Excellent idea, but who will find the solution first? Let them investigate, and we'll see. Sorry, but have you seen Miss Thompson? Isn't she in her office? No, she isn't in the office. And something terrible has just happened. Ah, Miss Thompson, I found Emily. Emily? Emily Sweet? Yes. Ah, what has she done again? Well, nothing. I mean, she won't do anything bad now, because she's dead. She... what did you say? What? She's dead. I found her dead body in a park, behind a bush. How? Dead? Goodness gracious, what happened? I don't know, Miss Thompson, but I suspect should, I should she has been killed. No way! I came for the reputation of my school! Okay, okay. You should at least call a detective. Good idea. I'll do it right now. Hercule Prero will help us. A good friend of mine has already asked him for help. And I must call a mother too. Oh my god! Whose funny is this? I think it's Emily's. We must on her. Are you stupid? What? Her phone is in your hands! Oh yes. Where can we hide it? I know, Jessica and Audrey are such pains. We must get our revenge. Let's hide it in their room. Okay. Then the headmaster, Mrs. Thompson, called me to tell me that she was found dead in the park. Can we see the scene of the crime? Uh, yes, it's in a school. Blueberry boarding school, not far from here. Have you got an idea of who the murder can be? There were two girls in our class who didn't like her very much, but how could a young girl kill my baby? Okay, I will investigate. Watson, ready for a new adventure? Always ready. Thank you so much. Oh, Mr. Poirot, I'm so glad you came from so quickly. Come with me. You're lucky because I was just at a friend's place nearby. One of my students was assassinated just here, and her mother is Stella Portman, the famous actress. Oh. And she lost her husband when Emily was six. This is just the crime scene. How 
How did you let that happen? My precious, my sweetheart, I won't see her anymore. Don't touch the body for the moment, Stella, please. I understand your pain, Mrs. Buckman. No, you don't. This is her last word, Mum, my little darling. The message was sent from her mobile at a quarter past twelve. That when she was murdered. Oh, uh, by the way, these two gentlemen are my detectives. So here is Sherlock Holmes and his assistant Watson. But I already hide my hand detective, Elton Poirot. Oh no. Do you Do know, know each other? other? Well, actually everybody knows Mr. Holmes and Mr. Poirot. And this is my assistant, Miss Vanessa Van Sky. Hello. Can we take the corpse to one of the labs of your school to examine it, please? Of course you can. The best thing to do now is to share the investigation, dear fellows. Right. Miss Thompson, we need two different places to receive the people we are going to interview. One for Mr. Proud and one for Watson and me. We also need all the names of the students, the teachers and all the staff who knew Miss Sweet. I will give you everything you need. The more detectives we have, the quicker the case will be solved. I hope so, my dear baby. Today we're going to talk about... Something bad happened. Really, really bad. As you see it, Emily is not here. Unfortunately, someone killed her today at lunchtime. What? It's terrifying. It's horrible. Calm down. Someone is investigating. You are safe. The murderer is probably not from the school. I suggest we did one minute of silence in memory of Miss Wynne, our dear friend. Good idea. I'm done with the man's body. Did you find anything? There was no doubt that she was strangled. There are scars on her neck. The murderer was probably standing behind her. Very interesting. Go ahead. I don't know about the weapon yet. It can't have been done with someone's hands. I'll look for it later. Okay, good job, Mr. Lansky. Tell me if you find anything new. Come in. Hello, you're Mrs. Anderson, aren't you? Yes, I'm Mrs. Anderson, the English teacher. I've got some questions for you. I'm listening to you. Where were you and what were you doing when the crime was committed at a quarter past twelve? I was cleaning out my own locker in the staff room. Is there someone who saw you? Uh, yes, there was Mr. Taylor, the school inspector. He's here to inspect several classes for a few days. Okay, what was your relationship with Miss Swift? She had good marks, but she was a bit mean with some other girls of her class. Can you give me some examples, please? Making fun of them, hiding their pants, insulting them, provoking them. Okay, it's interesting. Uh, any other information? No, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you for your work. You're welcome, Mr. Poirot. You're Mrs. Jobs, aren't you? Yes, I am. I teach physical education. So I want to ask you questions. Where were you when the crime was committed at a quarter past twelve? Oh, uh, well... I was in the park. I was jogging with my headphone listening to music. Why were you doing your jogging in the park and not out of school? It's strange. Oh, it's like a tradition. Every day at quarter past twelve, I go jogging in the park. You can ask the other teachers. And how long have you been teaching in the school? Oh, for a few months. Um, where did you teach before? 
Well, I was, uh, I was in another country, very far from England. I see, I see. Did you like Miss Swin? Mm, yes, she was a nice girl. Was she a good pupil? It's true that she was a little bit eccentric, but she has, I mean, she had a good marks. Um, but she was naughty with the other girls. For example, uh, Audrey Wissington fell when she was climbing in my lesson this morning because of Emily. Okay, you can leave. Thank you, Miss Jones. You're welcome, Mr. Powell. Madame Marie Dupont. C'est moi. Vous êtes française, c'est ça Oui, monsieur Poirot, comme vous. Je suis née à Lyon et je vis à Londres et j'enseigne à Blueberry School depuis 5 ans. Vous êtes contente de votre poste ici Très contente. Les règles sont rigides, mais aussi faites. Connaissiez-vous la victime, Miss Swin Oui, c'est une de mes élèves. Pas très droit en français comme la plupart de ses compatriotes. Étiez-vous en bon terme avec elle Oui, enfin, comme un professeur peut l'être avec une élève qui ne travaille pas beaucoup. Que faisiez-vous à midi 15 quand la jeune fille a été tuée euh, Mon dieu, j'étais sur un banc du parc en train de lire un livre. J'aime bien avoir un petit moment de lecture avant d'aller manger vers midi 45. Vous étiez seul donc Oui, mais quand on lit Flaubert, on n'est jamais vraiment seul, aussi pour vous. En effet, en effet. Ah, j'oublie un détail, madame. Je suis belge. Hello, I am Miss Clipper, the school supervisor. Yes, I am. What were you doing when the murder happened at quarter past twelve? Mm, I was watching the self-service alone. I always go to the cafeteria about ten minutes after the bell that rings at midday. Oh, I suppose everybody saw you there. I mean, all the students. Probably, yes. And what do you think of Emily? Emily was a horrible girl. She was always talking about her money. She was very sarcastic. She was also very mean to a poor girl called Laura Montgomery, whose mother works in the school as a maid. Laura has a good friend called Cassandra Balls, who hated Emily too. And you? You didn't like her, did you? No, I must admit it. Were you jealous? No, why? Okay, thanks, Miss Clipper. Okay, class, take out your books, page 52. Come in! Sorry, Mrs. Anderson, but Mr. Holmes would like to see some girls. Hello, Miss Anderson. I'm here for the investigation. May I talk to Miss Cassandra Bowles and Miss Laura Montgomery, please? Oh, of course. Girls, call Mr. Holmes. Okay, girls, I'm just going to ask you questions about the Miss Sweet. Laura, please, explain your relationship with the Miss Sweet. Emily was really mean. She used to make fun of me because I don't have a lot of money. Once, she saw me cutting potatoes with my mom in the kitchen and she threw salad at us. Did your mother cook? A cook and a clean lady because she needs money for my education. Okay, and how about you, Cassandra? I didn't like her, but I didn't hate her. She never did anything bad to me and I didn't do anything bad to her. Okay, and how about the other girls? How do they feel? Well, Emily has two real friends, Anna Fitz and Ashley Johnson. The other girls didn't like her. Audrey fell from at the gym because of her this morning. Do you happen to know where you were at quarter past twelve? Um, it was before we went to the cafeteria. I think we were putting the class textbook in Miss Clipper's office. 
So you girls were together? Uh, no, I went to the toilet actually. Alone? Alone. Okay, girls. You can go back to English lesson and send me the girls you talked about. Come in. I want to ask you some questions about the murder. Sorry, I haven't got the time. You have to answer. It's an investigation. Okay, go ahead. Sit down. Now, where were you at quarter past twelve at the time of the crime? Mm, oh, at quarter past twelve? Mm, I was in the staff room. With Mrs. Jennifer Anderson, the English teacher. Are you sure? Yes, I am. She gave me a very funny sheet of paper from a student. For the question, who is the Queen of England? The student had written Luke Skywalker. <coughs> and did you know the victim, Miss Twin? No, I mean, I probably saw her for the first time this morning in her classroom. Okay, that's all for the moment. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Pro. Okay, so you girls. You're Ashley Denson and Hannah Fitz, is that right? Yes, that's right. We heard that you were good friends with him this week. Yes, it's true. And can you tell me what you were doing when the murder happened at quarter past twelve? Um we were we were waiting for Emily at the cafeteria. Why? Because she said she had lost an accounting card and she needed to find it. But we saw her dialing a number on her mobile as she was leaving the cafeteria. The trouble is that we didn't find any phone in her bag or around her body. Do you know where her mobile phone can be? Um, uh, no, we don't know, but we think um, somebody took it. Yes, Jessica and Hodri may have taken it. Okay, you girls, thank you for your help. And if you remember something, don't hesitate to tell us. Oh, yes, yes. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. We'll surely do it. Sit down, Mr. Galena. Okay. I want to ask you some questions about the murder. What did you know about Miss Swin? She was proud because her mother is rich. She was making fun of everybody, especially Laura Montgomery and her mother. She had a bad behavior. Where are you just before you find the car? I was wrecking the ground in the park, I suppose. Okay. Um, who were you with? Um, I'm afraid I was alone. When did you find the dead body? I don't know exactly, but probably between quarter past twelve and twenty past twelve. Can you be more precise about your discovery, Mr. Gardner, please? I was near the lake when I saw Miss Swing. I immediately understood she was dead without touching the body. I, I ran to Miss Thompson's office, but I couldn't find her. So I, go, I went to the staff room. Mrs. Anderson, the English teacher, was talking with a man. Then Miss Thompson arrived. She decided to call you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Angadona. You can leave. Okay, let's have a look into the bedroom. Okay, go over there, I go there. Where did you find it? 
in Audrey and Jessica's bedroom. Have a look. I will analyze the fingerprints tonight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 